Hello and welcome back to Wolfenstein 3D Return to Danger for Floor 12, Pushwall Pandemonium. Now, we've already done Pushwall Panic, that was the secret level of Spirit Destiny. Now it's Pandemonium. Thankfully this mission is quite a bit easier than that one. Though there are several major challenges, I'll get to those in a second, because through these first two secrets here, we have direct access to the exit of the level, just like floors 9 and 11, you can bypass the level entirely. Here's the gold doorway where you uh, come out normally. We are going to go through the level as intended though, because we are going for 100%. And we're going to come into this maze area here. Uh, you'll see on the walls ahead of us, there are uh, dials and readings and stuff on some of the textures. These mark the secrets here. Thankfully there's only one path through this maze area, so you can't get lost. It is time consuming to go through it. Now, as I mentioned, uh, well, hang on. Around this next corner is our Hello. first ammo here. Okay, with them. And I want to keep as much food and ammo lying around this area as possible. The reason for that is because it is incredibly scarce in this level. Uh, ammo, that is. Food can be a bit of a problem, but thankfully there is at least a little bit of uh, replenish you as you move around. It's not too forgiving, so you can't take a lot of damage. But, uh, Ammo is the real problem. You want to keep everything you can in this maze. We'll be back through here at the very end. Okay, that's the first three guards dealt with. We have a single shoe stuff all to kill. And a officer at the very end of this maze. Oh my god! Didn't expect another officer there. No, sorry, another guard there. Oh, that must be a secret we've already pressed. Right, coming up on the shoes level now. Let's just around this next corner. So the yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Keep moving. We'll be back with that chest of ammo soon. That being though, we are going to move this way. And we are coming up on the officer around this next turn. I'm going to move forwards here to make sure I don't accidentally pick up that chest of ammo. And this is the last secret of the maze here, so let's get out. And we can come to this room here with all the bolts. Thankfully this one's not quite as killer as the previous one. Now, there are two paths we can go by. I'm going to go this way first. But then what I'm not going to do is engage that guy. He doesn't respond to gunshots. So I'm going to let him sit there and make sure no one else moves down this corridor. Then I'm going to go this way. Shoot him. Oh, getting shot in the face there by someone. And we're going to let them come from this door. We'll try to hold this position as long as we can. Eventually, we're going to have to get duck back into the door behind him. It's a bit risky sometimes because trying to open the door behind him is going to be big fights in this map. This is one of them. And what I don't want them to do is go down any of the other corridors that lead into the other three corners of the map. Because that will alert a next swarm of enemies and we don't really have the ammo to deal with. It. Okay, that's good. I got through this area without taking uh, too much damage or wasting too much ammo either. He's coming from an interesting grid. We can just come to the next room along. Let's grab this plate of food here. We'll move around here. There's usually a treasure here. You often get stuck in the middle of that area. We'll grab this treasure. And we'll grab that plate of food. We'll move around here. We'll grab this ammo. We'll grab all that treasure. There's a wee bit more there. There is a rat on the floor, but I'll come back to it. And we'll just check no one's in this corridor. Okay, let's go backwards now. We'll take care of that other guy. I'm gonna sneak into the next room. Suddenly it feels like a lot. You know what? I'm gonna grab one of the chests of ammo while I'm close here. Definitely don't wanna run out halfway through the fight. I can go back to that one later. Here we go. Now, holding this door is especially difficult. So I'm gonna retreat into the corridor as soon as it's done. Okay. Here we go. All 
life, and I'm waiting for a lot more guards. Is that all of them, really? Okay, scattered around this room is going to be a number of shoe stuff waiting to ambush. We're going back this way now. Oh, come on, this is wasting my ammo before I get that range. Let's do a quick loop. Check that no one is going to come out around here. Another identical fight, I'm not entirely sure on the pretty similar. The setup is more or less the same. Yeah, you have to choose to avoid damage. So, yeah, I'm supposed to be shot. I am like, oh no. There'll be an officer. There is. Not an officer. No, she's double. One. Where will the next one be? There is. Gold key in the corner here. Grab that. And keep moving around. Another one. Is that all of them? Any more? Okay, that looks like it's clear. 74 bullets. 78. Okay. That should be just enough. We'll just double check. No one went into the middle room. Final room up ahead then. Food there if I need it. I have to be very careful with my ammo here. 78 is just coming out. So now you're facing us. We'll let him stay there for now. We'll probably shoot by mistake at this door. Whoa. Continue on back to that uh, area around here, and I'm not even going to bother going back through the maze for the tiny bit of ammo that's waiting there for me. What I'm instead going to do is going to go to the secret exit. There is a secret in the middle here that you probably noticed earlier on, and it's on this wall here. It's not a very well hidden secret. It's one of the easiest to find. That secret level I'm talking about here, and let's see how we did. Almost 10 minutes. A bit of a slow level to go through, mostly just because I have to watch it out of but I got 100% everything. So thank you very much for watching. I will be back tomorrow for the second secret floor of Return to Danger at 2 o'clock. Thanks for watching.